Is he also a member of your party? Yeah, he doesn't get along too well with people, though. Don't let it get to you. I'm Judith. Nice to meet you. <sighs> hey, why is he letting Judith pet him? Maybe the little pup's a fan of pretty girls. But I'm a pretty girl, too! My, my. Why doesn't he like me? Sodia and the others are busy arresting and taking Rago away, so I'm on my own. Should a lieutenant leave his subordinates when they have a duty like that? Well, it's very much in Flynn's style. <coughs> Barbos rules based on the laws of the Empire. It is the Knight's duty to arrest those who break the law. I can't leave you and the others to do as you would, Yuri. You need an excuse to do everything, don't you? That's what it means to be an Imperial Knight. <laughs> There's no challenge at all. I guess I'll go easy on them. Come on, Wind. Knock them around. I'm so good. I'm in love. You'll just get burned. Oh, baby, I'm already charred to a crisp. Gel or anything? My thanks, but you needn't worry about me. Focus on your surroundings instead. You never know where a foe might be hiding. Oh, yeah. I'll pay more attention. Why so stiff? It's kind of awkward, huh? Flynn and Carol are perfect ladies, though. I'm not around nights all the time, so I get nervous. Just think of me as someone watching your back. All right. Thanks. Judy was nervous?
So you use a spear too. Oh, do you know someone who also uses a spear? Eh, well, not quite. It just reminds me of some jerk. Are you talking about that dragon rider? Yeah. Hey, don't you have something you need to tell me? What? Me? Yes. So where is the dragon freak now? We got separated up on the roof. I'm pretty sure he wasn't too badly hurt. Good, because I can't very well beat him up if he's already injured. Whoa, whoa. That's the whole reason you came here? No! I also can't forgive this Barbos guy for what he did. Abusing Blastia like that. Has he no shame? That's no reason to bring the princess along with you to a dangerous place like this. Flynn, why didn't you stop her? My apologies. We must have missed each other in Dongrest. So that's why she panicked and chased after you? It's not Rita or Flynn's fault. I decided to come here myself. I couldn't let you go all by yourself. Besides, I can't watch bad people doing harm to others and simply let it happen. I agree. Very well said. Your Highness. Captain Carroll, don't let me down. I'm counting on your skills. Yes, of course! Come on, let's go take that jerk to school. I'm sorry, but would you mind keeping your background to yourself? You've got someone who might kind of explode if she knew. Sure, I understand. That'll be best for both of our interests. behind oh man Our ties to each other will save us dragon destroy It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. What's this? It's a conduction tube for air. This carries air up higher in the tower then? Why would they want to carry air higher in the tower? Come to think of it, there was a giant Blastia on the roof of the tower. But there's no air passing through here. Maybe it's broken. Looks that way. The gear stopped. I see. So this is what's powering the air supply. It looks like it's not moving because the gear's teeth are out of alignment. 
I think it might move if we put some energy into it. Well, we needn't waste energy on moving strange gears. more fights. This power will make me stronger. Sorry for being so strong. You want revenge? Bring it! You don't 
Don't scare me. Very well. Rest in peace. Together now! Demon oh. Battle! <laughs> Very well. The sign of victory! Okay. Yay! Good job. Don't hurt us now. Your spear fighting is fluid and your footwork is amazing. I love watching you fight, Judith. Oh, it's my pleasure. Aren't all Critians more of the nerdy, scholarly type? More indoors than outdoors people? Yuri's anti-book comments aside, is it true that the Critia don't fight in battles? It seems most of us don't like fighting very much. So you're an exception? A weirdo among weirdos, then. How strange. I've always thought it was normal to fight someone who was threatening you. Yeah, true. Really? Is that normal? Sure, it's normal. Totally normal. Uh, I see.
answer for you. Behold! <laughs> Song of Victory! Or, 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 a rewarding victory! These are the threads that weave our future. for you.
it looks like this floor is set up the same way as the one below. So that means we've got some gears to move. What do you think they're protecting with all these different layers of devices? Maybe it's just their pride as a guild. The bottom of the tower looked ancient, but the top is new. It would seem someone built it onto a structure that was already here. I had no idea there were any towers in this area. I wonder when it was built. Well, judging by how new the top looks, I'd say it was pretty recent. Do you think Barbos built it? The Blood Alliance is one of the bigger guilds, but even they couldn't build something like this. Rago, he must have been putting up the funds. Hey, yeah, that would make sense. We still ain't any closer to figuring out why they built something like this, though.
Yes, take a nice long nap. I've unlocked new strength. These are the threads that weave our future. Our strategy worked. <laughs> 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 so strong. At. I wish I could bounce.
an opportunity. Our strategy worked. You're pretty rough out there. It would be rude not to. Finish that one. You're going bye bye. Like this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Here comes a new spell. Yes, take a nice long nap.
guess we can do this. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. Hey, I learned something. I've unlocked new strength. Again, uh, yes, yeah, stubborn punk. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hey, the core in that sword is that the core of the Aqua Blastia? Yeah, it's gotta be. These fools don't know when to give up. Kapornor, Dongrest, and now all the way to Gosforost. I've always hated kids. Barbos, this has gone on long enough. Save what's left of your honor and give up! The knights will be here any moment. Any further resistance is futile. That's right. You're finished. Oh, this is far from finished. I put ten years into building Gasforost's spire, and while it stands, nothing can stop me. And with that man and the Empire wrapped around my finger, I was able to build my magnificent Blastia! That man? You think I'm just gonna let you waste the lower quarter's core like this? Oh, it won't go to waste. I'll use this to eliminate White Horse, and then I will be leader of the guilds. Then the Empire is next. With this power at my disposal, the very world will be mine. And I'll start with you! Begone, worms! Is everyone all right? Sword is gonna be a problem. Problem? Is that thing even legal? It is very powerful. <laughs> the Blastia seems to be working just fine. What? What's wrong? <laughs> you haven't won yet. All right, playtime's over. Time to wipe Dongrest off the map, and you along with it! Get down. What?! Is that what happened to not having any time or interest? Hey, that's Rita, never mind that. Piece of crap. Looks like the tables have turned, Barbos. So, all that fancy wisdom and the power of the blast here were nothing but a sham.
Should have known from the start that I'd have to depend on my own strength. Take up your swords! You know, he was so much easier to deal with when he was all drunk on power. Yeah, there's nothing worse than an enlightened idiot. I am the only man to stand as White Horse's equal in battle. Now you will know the power of Barbos the Stormblast and his blood alliance! Take you thugs down. You little punks are nothing to me. I'll squash you like bugs. Then I'll... Squash the union and rule the world! That's a nice dream. I'll make sure it doesn't happen. You... Let's 
Very well. Stay down. Should I finish him off? That's the logical outcome. Hey, I learned something. There's potential within me. Oh, I feel so powerful. Your henchmen have run out on you. That's it, Barbos. It looks like you were the fool who didn't know when to give up. <laughs> Perhaps you were right. Then you'll surrender. I... I won't be humiliated any more than this. Yuri, was it? <laughs> You remind me of Whitehorse in his youth. You're his spitting image. Hope you're not saying I'm gonna end up like that old man. Not exactly something to look forward to. Like the Don. Sooner or later, you will make great enemies in this world. And then that world will consume you whole. Regret. Sorrow and despair will hound you all the way to hell. And I will be waiting there for you. I'm so glad the core is safe. Wow, the Aquablastia core is so small. So we've got your core back. That takes care of one problem. Yes, but we weren't able to take Barbos into custody. Yes, that alone is quite regrettable. What are you talking about? A creep like that is better off... Ow! Besides, I think it's too early to say anything's been taken care of. Yeah, I have to find out if this thing even works anymore. Hmm. Blastia cores don't break all that easily. Huh. Bet you didn't know that, did you, Ra Raven? Jeez, what is up with that guy? Just showing up whenever he wants. You're one to talk, Rita. Takes all kinds, I suppose. He probably headed back to Dongrist. I'm sure we can find him if we need to. I'll go on ahead as well. I left my people with a considerable amount of work. Your Highness, if you would please accompany me. Um, can't I stay with everyone a little longer? We'll look after your unreasonable princess a little longer. Isn't that easier for you too? We'll make sure she gets to Dongrest. Very well. But in exchange, I ask that you take the utmost caution. Absolutely no detours, okay? All right, all right. Then I take my leave, Your Highness. Until we meet again in Dongrest. Thank you, Flynn. Why do you look so sad? Are you okay? I was just thinking. I still owe that creep to Deki a good beating. You got the Blastia back. Isn't that enough? Why chase after some stupid thief? Yeah, I guess you're right. If I ever cross paths with him, though, he's in for a surprise. Waiting for me in hell. Why do you have to go and say that? Hey, come on already. Let's get back to Dongrest. 
Well, I will take my leave from you here. Off to meet up with your partner? Partner? Who do you mean? We'll be operating individually from now on. That way we won't interfere with each other's work. I see. I'll well, see you later. Yeah. have come back I'm innocent I tell you this is a plot by the Knights to destroy the council he doesn't know when to quit does he where's Flynn I can't make him out from here You must not be taken in by the Knights! They only plan to crush this town once you've all been lured into a false sense of safety! On the honor of the Imperial Knights, I swear that we would never perpetrate such disloyalty. You're... Flynn Shifo. The Empire and the Union have joined in a treaty of friendship. What? Impossible. At this moment, Don Whitehorse and His Highness Yoder are in council together. It's only a matter of time until it's made official. But how? I thought that cursed Alexei was tied up in other matters. Yes, it is true that our Commandant could only make a brief appearance before returning to the capital. Then, on whose authority? No! This can't mean my plans have been ruined by this... this... Boy! This will put an end to the suffering of the people of Kapwa Noor as well. Here's hoping the next magistrate they get is more of a stand-up guy. I will do what I can to make sure a worthy person is chosen when I get back to the castle. To the castle? You mean you're going back to the capital, Estelle? Yes. With Rago gone, the rest of the castle should have returned to normal. But you don't really want to go back. What do you mean? I can see it in your face. No, I... I... Well, you should do what suits you best. You've made up your own mind, right? I will go back. I don't want Flynn or anyone else to have to worry about me anymore. It's gonna be lonely without her, won't it, Repeat?
I wonder why my bag works so well when I hit enemies with it. Huh? You don't know how your own bag works? Yeah, not really. Surely the bag just has a high level of air conductance. Air conductance? It's a measure of how easily something carries air. The air produced when you use strike arts must be easily conducted through that bag. So that's why enemies get weaker when I hit them with my bag? Exactly. It's the same as with my belt. Different people have different items that carry air for them more easily. Wow, interesting. Thanks, Rita. You sure don't know much about your own possessions. I guess I better take good care of my bag. It's terrible! Oh, man. Just let me sleep. Brigo! He... he... What did Brigo do? They say he used his standing in the council to reduce his charges! It looks like he's gonna get off with only a minor drop in rank after everything he did! This has got to be a joke. It's not a joke! It's the truth! So this is how the Empire works now, huh? Damn it, this is not funny. What do we do, Yuri? Hmm. I don't know. How can he not get punished? Wait, if we tell Estelle, maybe she can do something about it. Hey, don't go giving the princess too much trouble. Damn it. What's Flynn doing anyway? I wonder if he's at his post right now. Doesn't anyone knock anymore? You knew I'd be coming. That outfit. As of today, I've been assigned the post of captain. So, the birth of the Flynn Brigade, huh? Looks like I've been one-upped again. If that's how you feel, you should come back to the Knights. You'd be able to... Don't waste your breath. Congratulations on making captain. Thank you. You didn't come down here to celebrate my promotion. No, I didn't. It's Rago, isn't it? Appropriating Nor Harbor for his own purposes? Committing treason by his collusion with Barbos. Add to this stealing from the populace and the extermination of even his own people simply because he didn't like them. 
The people he killed were either fed to monsters, or sold to those who will pay money for corpses. Sick bastard. That he should be able to do those things, and not have to answer for them. The authority of the Council is far more powerful than I'd imagined. I thought with this promotion to Captain that I'd gotten a bit closer to my goal. But I have to face the fact that the law can't even punish a single person like Rago. You know it doesn't end here. You'll climb even higher until you can make the right changes. True. But many people will continue to suffer in the meantime, needlessly. When I consider that, I... Don't go flying off the handle and smacking him around. The progress you made would all be for nothing. <sighs> if he's above you, you go even higher, and then... Yes. Someday I'll create a legal order that treats everyone with equality. I have to. Good. And I'll do things my own way. Yuri? How would you go about punishing the villains that the law can't touch? I'm still trying to figure that out. It seems I may have gotten a little careless when I thought Alexei wouldn't be around. Flynn Shifo, that impertinent upstart. This is a grudge I won't soon forget. I will bring down the full authority of the Council on you. Ah! What the? It's you. Do you intend to harm me? I'm a member of the Council, you know. I could crush you w with a single command. You won't get away with this. The laws in the Council may have let you go, but I'm afraid I can't do that. Ah, st stay back! I was so close. Day nomos. Repeat. It's too bad we gotta split up. Please, come visit the castle anytime. He'll really come if you say that. What? Didn't she just invite me? Huh. Idiot. With the treaty, it'll become easier for guild members to enter the capital. That's right. Princess, we should be going. Oh, yes. I promise to do what I can about Rago, to see that he gets the punishment he deserves. Princess, you should know. What? You see... Lord Rago has not been seen since last night. We do not yet know the details. These whereabouts are being investigated as we speak. What could this mean? Maybe he got scared and ran away. 
Well, I guess I'll be going too. I want to check out stuff like those air credits. When I finish my analysis, I'll um pay a visit to the capital too. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, okay then. See ya. And Carol, where will you go from here? I want to start up a guild with Yuri. That sounds like a good idea. Your Highness. Sorry, I'm ready now. Shouldn't I go get Yuri? No. I wouldn't want to wake him. All right. Well, this is it. Yeah. I hope we see each other again. Are you awake? Estelle and Rita already took off. Oh. If you hurry, you might still be able to catch her. I can meet them anytime I want. Jeez, Yuri. Fine, if that's how you're gonna be. Even if I did go, it would just make it harder for them to leave. What the? Monsters? Yuri! Carol, any idea what that thing is? No, I've never seen anything like that before. It's coming down! Come on, Carol. What? Hey, wait! Just when I get to relax, I get dragged into another mess. Yuri, fate really is out to get you. Hey, it's not all my fault. You had a role in this too. But I never ran into gigantic monsters or got arrested by knights before I met you. Well, things didn't go bad for me until I left the capital with Estelle. So that means... Drop it. Keep moving. R right. What is going on here? Yuri, protect her highness! Yuri, look! This way, foul fiend! Why is it just ignoring us? Is it coming for... me? The Commandant, but why is he here? Our finest knights. I am left with no choice. We will stop this beast with the help of Heracles. Yuri, wait! There's nothing more you can do! Huh. You expect me to stand by while that thing makes a snack out of Estelle? The insipid poison of this world must be purged. It can speak! Who... who are you? You're safe.
is that? Heracles! Whoa! We gotta get out of here! I'm going to leave the city and continue my journey. What do you mean? If you're going back to the capital, you shouldn't keep Flynn waiting. It's for you to decide. Then I... Now that's what I wanted to hear. Judith? Don't! It's too dangerous! Look who's talking. I'll be fine. You go on ahead. Come on, quickly! My, you're a stubborn one. Huh? Why is it taking off? Yuri! Lady Estelise! Wait! Here comes the cavalry. I'm sorry, Flynn. I realize now I can't just go back to the capital. There are too many things I still need to know. Surely after returning to the capital, you can... The voices of the people suffering in Nora Harbor never reached the capital. I won't achieve anything if I'm not willing to approach these problems head on. I've come to realize that during my travels. That's why. That's why I have to keep going. Your Highness! Flynn, get this core back to the lower quarter. Yuri! I won't be going back to the capital anytime soon. I'm going to start up a guild. Give my regards to Hanks and everyone else. Yuri! A guild? So that's what you meant by doing things your own way? Yeah, I finally made up my mind. That's fine, but what about Princess... Take care, Flynn. Yuri! I suppose I should have talked to you first, but here's to our new guild, Carol. Right! All right, let's go. If we hang around here much longer, some of those knights are bound to come after us. That huge flying monster actually talked, right? You ever heard of a monster like that? I've never seen or heard of anything like that. I don't think anybody in the Hunting Blades has. Man, first that thing at Karabakram and now this. The world's just full of surprises. I don't care how many lives you have, it wouldn't be enough to fight that thing. Yeah, not even I feel like taking on a monster like that. The circumstances being what they are, this is just how things turned out. I don't mind a few extra travel companions, but we do need to put in a little more effort. Just how far are we going? I guess Heliord's our closest destination, so at least until there. What? Should we rest a little once we get out of the city? Agreed. Okay, okay. Now let's get moving.
Hey, you mind if I ask a question? I need to be sure of something. What is it? That big monster we saw? It was talking, right? Like our language. Yes, I heard it with my own ears. You all heard it too? I guess it wasn't my imagination after all. Who's ever heard of a monster that speaks a human language? Just what is that monster? Go. What happened to taking a break? It's probably a good time. It looks like no one is following us anymore. How can you tell? Hmm. Intuition, I suppose. Intuition? Anyway, we should be fine here. Let's rest for now. When we have time to take a longer rest, we've got to decide a few things about our guilt. What is it with you and taking breaks? What do you hope to accomplish by starting a guild? Accomplish? Hmm. I want our guild to become really big! And then someday we'll follow in the Dawn's footsteps and protect Dawngrest ourselves! That way, I can show him my gratitude for all the years he's defended the city! That's a wonderful dream, Carol. I'll just stick with the boss here. Huh? B boss Me? You were the first one to bring up this crazy idea. <laughs> I guess you're right. So, what's the first order of business? To calm down. Yeah! <laughs> you make guilds sound like fun. Why don't you join the guild as well, Judith? Hmm, I wonder. Do you think they'd let me? The most important thing is obeying the guild's laws. Those who break the laws will be severely punished, even friends or family. The laws are the source of a guild's pride. No one can be admitted without making a solemn pledge to uphold them. And what are the laws of your guild, Carol? Um... Everybody supporting each other and always acting with the interests of the guild in mind. Striving to always do the right thing while punishing those who don't. What do you mean? All for the guild and the guild for all. Do justice and punish the unjust. Everyone's opinion will be valued, so long as it doesn't go against these laws. Yuri, that's just what I... Right, boss? All for the guild and the guild for all. Yeah, that's it. Those are our laws. It looks like these will be my laws from now on as well. Sure it's okay to make up your mind like that? Yes. You've got me curious. All for the guild. I like the way that sounds. Well then? I pledge to uphold the laws. For the guild's sake. And my own. How about your partner? Thanks for your concern. But it's alright. 
He won't mind. Your partner? A friend I was traveling with earlier. Huh. I didn't know you had someone like that. Okay. So from today on, we'll be your new partners, Judith. I look forward to it. Me too. Yeah. Then I... Okay, let's call it a day for now. Yeah, I almost forgot how sore I am. Not asleep? No. Is something the matter? No. I was just trying to think of what our next move should be. Yes. I didn't even think I'd be able to continue traveling with you. I'm still trying to decide if I should. You're really going to put your all into this guild, aren't you? I'd like to say I'm just going to go with the flow, but I went and bragged to Flynn about it. I guess I can't slack off now. Carol certainly seems happy. I'm a bit jealous. Oh, does Her Majesty the Princess wish to join our humble guild? If I asked you to let me in, would you let me in? If you've thought about this and it's your decision, I won't try to stop you. Yeah, you're right. I should really give this some thought. Well, don't think too hard about it. <laughs> How can I decide? What, you're not asleep? Nah, I've been trying to think of a name for our guild. I'm gonna think of something really cool. Sure, I can't wait. Yuri? Hmm? I was thinking about this. We made our guild without first swearing allegiance to its laws, didn't we? Yeah, but did that earlier today, right? So no worries. Yeah. Yuri? What is it? Did you just make those laws up, or did you hear them somewhere? They just came to me. Why, were they no good? Oh no, not at all. It's just... Those were the exact same laws I'd been thinking of. I'm really happy that I was able to make a guild with you, Yuri. <laughs> what a thing to say. Don't get all mushy on me. <laughs> I... Oh! What now? I thought of a name! The Super Ultra Courageous Braves! <laughs> that sounds like a name Captain Carol would come up with, definitely. Let's go with that, then. Right! For what? You're staying up to keep watch, aren't you? Nah, not at all. You're so evasive. You're one to talk. Huh, weird. I always thought I was pretty straightforward. Seriously? You haven't even given your real reason for joining our guild. I joined because I wanted to. That's it? No. So long as they don't go against the laws of the guild, Everyone's wishes are respected, right? Don't worry. I said I'd uphold the laws, and I will. But in my own way. All right. Well, I'll get you to tell me the real reason eventually. So it was a coincidence that you were in Dongrest? Yes, I was. That's the truth. Isn't it lovely? Sure. Lovely. Thanks. For keeping watch? For talking.
Repeat. You're keeping watch too, huh? So, we started a guild. We're a motley crew, but it should be interesting. <laughs> You're our number two. Try not to give the boss too much of a hard time. <laughs> you should get some rest too. What's that? Are you saying I should just trust you to keep watch for us? <laughs> I'm fine. Don't worry about me. What's that? Are you saying I should just trust you to keep watch for us? <laughs> All right, I'll get some rest then. Thanks, Repeat. I hope we can find some work to do now that we've made our guild. <laughs> Easy, Tiger. So, Estelle. What are you gonna do? I wanna go looking for that talking monster. If it was me he was after, I wanna find out why. Don't feel like you'll be able to rest easy till you find out, huh? But how will you do that? How can you look for a monster if you have no idea where it is? I thought you were in charge of all the monster-related information. Don't ask me! Even I've never seen anything like that before! That was no monster. His name is Pharaoh. Do you know about him? I saw him earlier when I was traveling with my friend, and it was my friend who knew his name. Why would your friend know the name of something like that? Where did you see it? It was on the Desier continent, in the sands of Kogor. That's the continent to the southwest of Tolbikia. The continent of Desier. The desert. You don't just go marching off to a desert because someone saw a monster. He's right, you know. I wonder if that fairy tale could be... Fairy tale? Something I read at the castle. A tale about a monster that speaks, who lives in the sands of Kagor. There are always stories like that. Like the one about the monster in the sea who talks to people. I think you've got it backwards. Backwards? Such creatures do exist, but they have simply become the stuff of legend. It's like the saying, where there's smoke, there's fire. Yeah, but... Are you thinking of going all the way to a place like that alone, Estelle? Huh? Well, I... If we don't keep up this little bodyguard operation, she'll really march off on her own. What do you think? Let's take this as our first guild assignment. Hey, you're right! We'd be breaking our own laws if we let her go alone. That's right. But if this is a real job, We'll have to charge Estelle our fee. Well, we don't need to worry about something like money, right? Nope. No exceptions. Money is a necessity for running a guild. Um... I'm afraid I'm a bit short on funds at the moment. In that case, why don't we just figure something out later? I'll pay the fee, I promise. So let's all go together. Okay, looks like that settles it. This way, we can all continue the journey. All right! Super Ultra Courageous Braves, fall out! W what is that? Huh? That's our guild's name! 
We can't go with that. We need something easy to say that has a real snap to it. Oh, really? Well... How about something like... Brave Vesperia? It's the star that gives off the brightest light in the night sky. The brightest star! Cool! Brave Vesperia. Hmm. I like it. Let's stick with that. Okay, that settles it! Let's get to Torum Harbor and charter a boat! We're off on an ocean voyage to the continent of Desier! Didn't you want to take a break at Halyard? Uh, who needs it? Either way, we can't get to Torum without passing through Heliod. I'd also like to see how they've been doing since the Blastia went out of control. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Alright, we'll just stop in for a quick look around the city. Okay. So, first to Heliord, then from Torum to Desier by boat. Okay, I'll try again. Brave Vesperia! Yuri, I was a little surprised to hear that you're starting a guild. Well, it's not like I'll be doing it all on my own. Did Carol give you the idea? Yeah, but I've been thinking about it myself for a while now, too. I quit the nights to find my own way of doing things. But I hadn't done anything. What Flynn said to you back in the port town, that got to you, didn't it? Nothing that guy says could get to me. He doesn't like to admit his feelings, does he? No. Could you be any weaker? Don't get... Kaki. The cry of victory! <sighs> Repeat? Oh my! Doesn't the city seem less busy than before? Yeah, this place has gotten a lot more ghost towny. Now that you mention it, maybe. Huh? What's wrong? In Dongrest, I heard that the construction work here is so brutal that tons of people have been fleeing. I don't know if that's true or not, though. Huh, interesting. She has to do something about it. What do you mean? You can see it on her face. If that's the case, we should go to the inn and have a strategy meeting first. After all, we need to go check on the Blastia, too. Yeah, and it's not like Estelle can just let things go. You can't just ignore people's problems, can you? I know, I know. So then, let's go! To the inn! He sure is getting into it. He's so happy that he was able to start a guild with Yuri. Hey, it's not like I did this just for Carol's sake. But you care about his feelings, don't you? Yeah, well... Come on, we should hurry to the inn.
We picked a name, made laws, got our first job. We're a pretty respectable guild now. But are three members really respectable? Why not? The Dark Wings, the famous Thieves Guild, they only have three members too. Quality over quantity. Too many people get to be a headache. I prefer a small group. But you can't follow in the Dawn's footsteps and defend Dongrist without a few more bodies. Yeah, I guess. But if we just put one foot in front of the other, I know we'll be big someday. So then you're saying we can take it easy? No way! We gotta give this guild 110%! Aye <laughs> aye, Captain.
Now that we have a goal and a destination, I'm so excited about continuing our journey. This is a lot bigger than when we were just escaping the capital and chasing after Flynn. We're out to find a mysterious talking monster. And to get over to Desier, we'll need to cross the sea again. I think the sands of Kagor will be a hot and harsh environment too. Still, I can't help but be excited that I get to continue my journey. New landscapes we've never seen are waiting for us just past the horizon. Well, just don't forget what we're out here for. I know. Rapide's an honorary member of Brave Vesperia too, isn't he? Of course he is. But everyone who joins the guild has to swear to uphold its laws, don't they? Well, in his case... What are you all worried about? Rapide knows the laws. <laughs> there have been lots of times when I just know Rapide understands what we're saying. I know how you feel. Yeah, I don't know. Well, how about it, Rapide? He just went to mark his territory. How would you punish villains that the law can't touch? Flynn would have had a different answer, I'll bet. But who knows how many people are hurting because they're waiting for change that never comes. That's the answer I chose. I know, I know. I made up my mind and did what I did. I won't ignore my past. I'll probably have to talk with them about it sometime too.